and welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading Dragon and His Friend, a dragon book about autism, written by Steve Herman. It's good to see you once again. Remember me? I'm Drew. I'm the kid who has a dragon by the name of Diggory Doo. When Diggory came to live with me, he had to learn a lot about the way he should behave and ways that he should not. We hope you like our stories and that you've been entertained by reading all about the ways a dragon must be trained. Here's another story. I assure you it's a dandy. It teaches us a lesson that may come in pretty handy. A new kid came to Diggory School one day last September, and Diggory learned a lesson that he always will remember. Teacher said his name was Michael, but we just called him Mike. Diggory Do was sure that Mike was someone he would like. Mike seemed very shy and did not get much to say. Soon Diggory Do became aware that Mike would look away. What do you think, Mike? Whenever they were talking and not look him in the eye, it seemed like Mike was being rude, and Diggory wondered why. He's kind of rude. That's not all that Diggory saw. He noticed other things. Sometimes Mike would flap his arms, as if they might be wings. Diggory got his feelings hurt. He wondered, could it be? Since I have wings upon my back, he's making fun of me? When Mike would play with building blocks, he did not want to quit. And if you tried to make him stop, he might throw a fit. Once he built a rocket with an astronaut inside, Diggory Do could never do that, even if he tried. Once Diggory said, hey Mike, time to put the toys away so we can eat our lunch. But Mike still wished to play. Mike got mad at Diggory Do, and he refused to speak or play with Diggory Do at all till later on that week. This was not just any mad. No, this was something more. Diggory'd never seen a mad quite like this before. Mike and Diggory's teacher, Mrs. Johnson, had a rule that children left their toys at home and not bring toys to school. But Diggory Do soon noticed that Mike brought his teddy bear. Since Diggory Do could not bring his, he thought it most unfair. Diggory Do liked Mike, but he found it kind of strange that Mike would cry and get upset whenever things would change. Like when teachers said it's time to go or someone moved the toys, Mike also got quite startled when he heard a sudden noise. Diggory found it difficult to keep on being nice, so my dragon came to me and asked me for advice. It's so hard. I told him I'm no expert, but I've learned it is a fact that some people are unique in how they feel and act. For example, some have autism. Have you heard of it before? Diggory said, I haven't, Drew. Can you please tell me more? I've read they feel uneasy around other girls and boys, especially if they're rowdy or they make a lot of noise. That makes sense, said Diggory Do. It might be the reason why Mike sometimes wants to be alone or won't look me in the eye. No matter what the reason is, Diggory try to see. It's okay that Mike is different. It's called diversity. When Mike flap his arms, he's not making fun of you. It may be that he's happy, and it's what he likes to do. Some folks are very talented and have amazing skills, like Mike does with his building blocks and the awesome things he builds. He'll spend hours on a single task, playing all alone. He may become upset when he must leave his comfort zone. You have the same emotions, but Mike may feel them stronger. Like you, he'll 
be okay, but it may take a little longer. Digray Dew was catching on. He seemed to comprehend. Let's talk about some ways, I said, to be a better friend. Although change is normal, it can make Mike feel distressed. Be thoughtful of his feelings and try to do your best. Be the friend he needs when he must leave his comfort zone. Let him know you're there for him so he won't feel alone. When Mike is feeling angry, you may find it is the case that the best way you can help is to give him time and space. Maybe you can teach him how you learned to count to 10 whenever you are angry and how helpful that has been. Since Mike has some special needs, that's why he has a bear. We don't have to be the same in order to be fair. It's like the rule we have, no climbing trees that are too high, except for me, said Dickory Doo, since I know how to fly. Your friend is kind of quiet and shy and hard to get to know, but so were you, Dickory Doo, not so long ago. Mike could use some more support, so Diggory, would you please introduce him to your friends to help him feel at ease? Although Mike is different, Diggory, you are different too. Let's face it, you're a dragon, but we've all accepted you. Now Mike and Diggory do are friends. It matters not one bit that the two of them are different. They're still a perfect fit. Some friends are kind of short, and some are rather tall. Some have freckles on their face, and some have none at all. Some friends are loud and active, but some are more like Mike. The fact is, we're all different. No two kids are just alike. We may not look and act the same. Still, this much is true. Everyone needs love, and a friend to help them through. Besides, if we were just the same, how dull the world would be. Just learn from Mike and Diggory Do. Embrace diversity. Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn. Reading Dragon and His Friend, a dragon book about autism. Written by Steve Herman. <laughs>